Eh? Hey, welcome back. Got some more Japanese tools today. Um, this time, stuff from KTC, Kyoto Tool Company. So, uh, let's get into it. These, uh, I needed some, some more wrenches. And, uh, Kyoto Tool Company, KTC, had what I needed. Let's take a look here. This set is, oop, this set is part number, part number TMS208B. This is a combination wrench set of the fractional inch variety. So if you ever work on equipment in the U.S. Uh, or made in the U.S., sometimes you'll need fractional inch. Uh, SAE, U.S. customary. Imperial, whatever you want to call it. So let's take a look. Nice box there, KTC. Look at that. A green printed box. Anyway, this is the wrench set. Came all the way from Japan. This came here... Uh, it got to me in two days, so that's kind of cool. Um, super fast. So it's coming in a fairly sturdy. Actually, it's pretty, pretty hefty. Actually, uh, plastic tray, and I uh, got a nice selection here. So we're going pretty small here for the quarter inch, and it goes up to three quarter. So let's take a look here. Part number on these individually is MS2 dash the size. So this is MS2 dash one slash four. Quarter inch, fit and finish. How's it look? Looks very nice. Has a beam design. Of course, these are hand finished as a lot of wrenches are. So somebody's going to stand in front of a, like a belt sander or a grinder and uh, actually finish these off. Broaching is centered on that one. Uh, that one's pretty small, quarter inch. And this set goes straight to um, three eighths. So if um, really, you know, you, you want a five sixteenths in there. So I, I found a solution for that. But this is the three eighths. Uh, I like the design on these, kind of a a broad beam with the uh, inset with the the uh, the writing and embossed logos. That puts a wider portion for your hand to make contact with. So no problems with these; they look pretty good. Made in Japan. Of course, KTC, they're, um, I guess they're the, probably the biggest tool manufacturer in Japan. Half inch. Yeah, these look very nice. Pretty clean broaching. I really like the, uh, the matte or the satin finish that these have. Box end broaching looks nice. And uh, I, I like the, um, the very clear size designation on these. Um, and it's, in, it's on four different spots, which is good. Um, very sharp lettering. You know, it's not laser etched that's so going to wear off or anything. Nicely forged. Nine sixteenths. These, they look a little longer than maybe like a Craftsman or, or something. Very nice. Um, KTC has, has made uh, uh, Toyotas um, wrenches for years. Like in the old Toyotas, if you got a Land Cruiser or something, um, the wrench that came with that, uh, it said Toyota on it wrenches that came with that and the adjustable wrenches and things like that they were made by KTC 
So you can really see that beam design here. It's like an I-beam. Um, I like that. It gives a, a broad, rounded over edge for your hand. Eleven sixteenths. Yeah, these are nice looking wrenches. Um, you can see the the um, the size designation is very clear, very easy to see. You know, either way, you're going to know what that is. Any way it's laying on the ground or something, you're going to be able to recognize it. Made in Japan. All the way up to a three quarter inch. So these are, these are looking nice. I like them. this case is actually a little sturdier than my uh, Asahi wrenches, just for comparison's sake. Got some other wrenches here. Of course, my little KTC tray. Uh, Asahi, here's a 19 inch Asahi, or 19 millimeter, I'm, I'm sorry. Three quarter inch, you can kind of see both are satin finishes, slightly different. Who has a cleaner manufacturing? Uh, very similar, I would say the numbering and the the logo is slightly crisper on the KTC. Very similar, similar width, box end, very similar. Uh, KTC looks a little bit thicker. Yep, it is. And you can see that the Asahi is just a hair thinner in the jaw. So just a hair, but very comparable. Um, I've liked my Asahi. They've served me well so far. And um, just to show another KTC wrench, these are some long double Box ends with zero offset, 14 and 17. Same matte finish. Uh, I've liked all my KTC stuff. Um, it's held up good. There's a KTC uh, ratcheting wrench. Very different finish on these. Um, I, I believe these are... These ratcheted wrenches from KTC are not made in Japan, but these these are forged in Japan. Pretty much the best ratcheted wrenches has come from Taiwan. They've it's been that way for for a while. A lot of the key manufacturers make theirs over there, uh, but most of of KTC's items are made domestically in Japan. I love the the. Uh, the size designation on these, really crisp, really nice looking wrenches. Uh, put these to use. And to rectify the situation with no uh, no 516s, it just skips that size. Got a couple more things here. So, picked up a 516s individual. Made in Japan, quarter inch, five sixteenths. So really like the case, love the wrenches, beautiful. Um, got a couple little items just for fun. This is a just a bit holder with a clip from KTC. Nothing crazy there, it's literally just a clip to hold a few bits. That's uh, another KTC item. And then, also just for fun, a little KTC badge. Let's take a look at it. A little KTC badge with some double-sided tape. Um, <laughs> put that in my with my little patch and. <laughs> sticking in a drawer um that was just for fun but yeah these have been the uh, ktc fractional inch wrenches um definitely beautiful i like them made in japan of course and uh, ktc is a wonderful company they make a, a huge selection of tools um 
and they make some quality stuff for sure from Japan. Uh, they're they're one of the one of the best in Japan. They make Nepros, of course. So all of our beautiful Nepros items, um, same company. This is just a, their premium brand, uh, Nepros. And that's been a little tool haul for KTC. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time with more Japanese tools.